Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Purchases Receive Inventory window is used to enter purchases from vendors and also enter inventory received from purchase orders that you have placed. Just as in the Sales Invoicing screen, you have two tabs into which you can input information, the Apply to Purchase Order Number tab and the Apply to Purchases tab. To access the Purchases Receive Inventory window, select Tasks from the menu bar and then choose the Purchases Receive Inventory command. First, you would select the Vendor's ID from the Vendor ID field at the top of the form to show open purchase orders that you've entered for the vendor on the Apply to Purchase Order Number tab below. Now, if the vendor has no open purchase orders, then the Apply to Purchases tab will come forward instead. At the top of this window is the Invoice Number field where you enter the invoice number for the vendor's bill. This can be left blank if the invoice wasn't received along with the items. Just make sure that the Waiting on Bill checkbox is selected instead. Then enter the date of the vendor's bill into the Date box. You should also see the vendor's name and address and your name and address at the top as well. If the shipment that you are receiving is fulfilling a purchase order and you are using the form to indicate that you have received inventory, the account will be assigned on the purchase order. For all other purchases, it defaults to the last accounts payable account used on a purchase transaction. If you select the Apply to Purchases tab to enter items purchased that are not associated with a purchase order, you can also place items that you have received but didn't order in the purchase order on this tab as well. Now when a vendor without open purchase orders is selected, this tab will automatically come forward. On this tab, you can enter the quantity, item, description, general ledger account, unit price, and amount for the items that you have purchased or received in addition to the items that were shipped from a purchase order. You would select the Apply to Purchase Order tab to receive items against open purchase orders. This tab will automatically appear when you select vendors that have one or more open purchase orders. The first thing you do here is select which purchase order to receive against by using the drop-down that appears after the Apply to Purchase Order label to select a purchase order from the drop-down list. All open purchase orders for the selected vendor are listed. On this tab, you will see the items that were ordered in the selected purchase order, the number remaining to be shipped, the number received, the description, the general ledger account, the unit price, and the line item amount. At the bottom of this window are fields that affect the balance. The Other Payments and Credit displays the sum of all payments that have been applied to this invoice. This doesn't include any payments entered in the Amount Paid at Purchase field. The Amount Paid at Purchase field allows you to make a full or partial payment when you receive the items. You then enter a reference and a general ledger account that you will use to pay the bill. The Invoice Total shows the sum of all lines on the purchase invoice, and the net due shows the calculated value based on the invoice total minus the amount paid at purchase. Also notice the Copy button that appears in the toolbar at the top of this window. You can click the drop-down arrow that appears next to this button, and then select the Create Recurring command from the drop-down menu that appears to create a recurring purchase. For any purchases that you make consistently in a recurring manner, you can create the purchase once and then have it recur in this and future time periods by simply selecting the frequency with which to automatically have this purchase recur in the Create Recurring Purchases dialog box that appears. Once you have set the purchase frequency, you would then click OK to create the future purchases in Sage 50. 
This can be a handy time saver for creating purchases that you always make at the same time within a period from the same vendor. Now once you've input the information into the purchases and receive inventory window, simply click the save button in the toolbar at the top of the window to save the information. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.